Warning, this is Brews and Bros, a laid back podcast where we taste and rank some beers. We are not experts and we are not beer sommeliers. We are just a couple of guys who love tasting all kinds of beer. We know what we like and we want to share this with all of our listeners. Two brothers, three beers. Let's go. We're back with episode 12. What did you coin it? The 12 pack. <laughs> I said last time we should do a six pack, but 12 pack will be on the floor. Uh, that would be a lot easier for me, but I mean, <laughs> doing a 12 pack right now, could you imagine? Let's do 12 beers right now. 12 beers. Just yeah, line yeah. them up and just bang, go. Bang, hey? bang, 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 bang. <laughs> we're Bruising Bros. I'm the Bruiser. I'm the Don Ernesto. And uh, we're sponsored by the Canadian Craft Brewery Tours. Yes, folks. Uh, check out their website. These guys are the number one tour operator for craft brewery tours across uh, Ontario, soon to be across Canada, too. They want to go global, so, uh, well, Canada wide. Canada and, wide. Uh, yeah, they offer uh, some great packages, so check their website out. They got something for you. Uh, stay tuned. A little bit later, we're going to give you a promo code uh, to get for 20% sure. off of their tours. Um, so this is episode 12. We're going to be trying some lagers. I love it. Nice <laughs> like, and light. I, but he's, you're changing your tune a little bit, though, eh, Don, with well, these I'm lagers. Uh, the what did you rate as your your highest ranked beer on this podcast so far? It was a stout. It was a stout. Yeah. Who thought? Double, double Who chocolate, thought? Young's. I'm still talking about it. You know, two weeks after we did it, I think it's fantastic. I'm hoping you're going to have something that's going to blow you away though yeah. today with these loggers. So, uh, but just to you know, I'm feeling under the weather, so I'm taking it light today. So uh, I'm glad. I'm glad you yeah. picked the the loggers. I, I was looking out for you. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. Brother. I was looking out for you. So, <laughs> like always, we're uh, we're gonna sample three beers. Um, we've never tried them before. We're gonna try to explain them in a way that uh, you guys will understand. We're not gonna be talking about all the technical stuff about the the kinds of hops and how um, you know the the roasted notes and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, we're just going to tell you, you know, yeah, down and dirty. Do we like it? And, uh, yeah, honest opinion. Is it crushable? Yeah, crushable is, yes. This crushable is very And good. if you should buy it, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 So yeah. let's do it. Let's lead right into it. Our first sure. beer starting off. We've got Light Lager, which is called the Light Lager by Forefathers Brewing Company. Yeah, 4%. 4% yeah. to start it Brew. off nice and light. Uh, I love the can here. It's nice and sleek here. Uh, looks like, the, is that an otter? Looks like it. An otter? Yeah. Is that what you said? An otter. Yeah. He spotted an otter. Okay. I don't, I, right I, there. You don't see oh, it. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> is that an otter? It's in black and white or gray and yeah, uh, but it's But it looks like it's in a, is it looking like it's in a fermenting place or, or a, in, a, in a brewery? Kind of. Yeah. Uh, is okay. that a badger though or not? Or maybe it's a badger. badger. Or some, some kind of animal is on this can. So yeah. Forefathers, uh, yeah. if you want to let us know what it is. Uh, yeah. yeah. I like this can. I, I like it. I don't know. Four fathers, light yeah. lager. Standing uh, for something good. Okay. Yeah. Not much literature on there. You were saying, eh? No, four percent light okay. lager, like you said. These guys are located in uh, Hespeler Village, Ontario, Canada. All right. So uh, first time we're trying a forefathers, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm excited. Let's do it. Let's crack Let's it open. I guess we didn't even say. So while I'm pouring this in, uh, stay tuned because we're going to be uh, putting uh, some people on notice again. But yes, this is ruining this. our food. This is weekly. Again. <laughs> You're all over the food. I am. I am. You're all over people just destroying food. And a little nostalgia again. We're going to talk some toys, right? Some, yes. Uh, okay. You know, old school toys that we used to own. That's going to be exciting. Uh, yeah. So I'm pouring this in. It looks like that classic light lager yeah. style. I love this Very color. Very pale. Nice and light pale. We've got uh, it's a nice cloudy white head to that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, you're a little bit closer to that light. He's, it's it's a nice frosted mug. I just uh, the Don was yeah. scratching it off. Uh, you know <laughs> some of the condensation. Yeah, it's exactly stuff. what you expect, yeah. bro. Um, yeah. In a lager, especially light. I'm comparing it to some other ones that I that I that I like. It's uh, actually we're drinking right now. Uh, shout out to Wayne Gretzky's uh, 99. Yeah, uh, we got the mugs, and uh, this reminds me of something that maybe you know you're in the parking lot, the beer league. Yeah, right. Maybe just crushing these back. I'm for assuming. sure. So let's yeah. see if that's are what they're going the, for. You pop the trunk. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You're, after the game, I think all the boys are in the parking lot, and uh, yeah, you might be crushing one. I of these. think. Any any odor to this? Any aroma to this? Uh, typical lager yeah, type of smell. Classic yeah. uh, lager smell right here. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> He's salivating. Yeah. <laughs> He's oh, cheers, brother. Cheers, bro. Let's do this. Let's do it. Definitely a light lager. Yeah. So, you know, they're going for that crisp, cool, crushable taste, and oh. uh, that's that's what I'm getting with this one here. Brew? 
This is fantastic. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the Don's enjoying it. Yeah. Uh, this is a uh, poolside for sure. Poolside oh, crushable. Oh, hundred percent. We gotta make. We gotta start compiling a list. Go back and which, which ones, ones are, are poolside yeah. crushable summer. You're right. Because <laughs> uh, I'm hoping we're what are we about a month and a half off until yeah. they open up the yeah. pool. So. Yeah. Me. Was it me? Yeah. Yeah. yeah around yeah. me. Right. Yeah. So okay. you know, I'll get yeah. that open. We gotta keep some tabs. Can I keep some tabs so we can yep. keep them in the outdoor uh, fridge yeah. in the cabana. Um, yeah, but, great uh, beer. Yeah, I like it, bro. Great beer simple. to start off. It's what you would uh, expect for a light lager. I think it's simple, nice mm-hmm. and smooth. Very crushable for me. Yeah. I'm not getting any unusual flavors or uh, um, any unusual... Uh, no. 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 Nothing. No. Typical uh, lager. Typical, typical yep. lager. So, yep. um, not really much we could talk about in terms of... You know, we're finding something different. We're different yeah, you know, when you're talking about a stout, when you're talking about an IPA, you start getting into how, you know, there's some citrus or, uh, you know, a floral aroma to it. Yep. Uh, this is a standard light lager, and uh, this is what they were going for. This is, again, the uh, light lager by the Four Fathers Brewing Company. It's a 4.0. I think I'm ready for this one. Yeah. Okay. I definitely could do that. We'll uh, go ahead. All right, let's do this. On yep. Three, two, one seven point one. Okay. Okay. So that was the uh, late lager by the Forefathers Four Brewing Company. Great beer. And great that's seven point one from me and seven, seven point five from uh, the Don Ernesto. Great job. Great way to start off. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Nice crisp uh, late lager. So if you're looking for that, you can yeah. definitely pick this one up. Yes. Yeah, so when we come back. When we come back, we're gonna be talking some old school toys. <laughs> Those ones that I kind of wish I still had. Yeah. You know, maybe I had them in my, um, when I was a little boy, yeah, cuddling yeah. in bed. <laughs> we're going to be talking about that. And uh, we're going to be giving you a promo code for uh, 20% off of the Canadian uh, Craft Brewery Tours. Absolutely, yeah. So stay tuned. We'll be back in a bit. Sure. See you soon. We're back. Yes. This is Bruising Bros, episode 12. We're trying some lagers. And uh, we're sponsored by the Canadian Craft Brewery Tours. And we got a, a, a promo code for you. What's that promo code, Don? Yep. So if you go on their website, uh, CanadianCraftBreweryTours.com, um, you can use the promo code Brews and Bros for 20% off uh, one of their packages, Brew. And they offer a lot. Uh, yeah. They can personalize it for sure, but they do a bunch of uh, a bunch of corporate events, private functions. So uh, have have a look at their site. Yeah, and, they got um, you covered. Use that promo code, and you're gonna get yourself twenty yeah. percent off. Again, Bruise and Bros. Bruise Just and pop that into apply that into your uh, into their uh, promo code. Perfect. And get twenty percent off. So we're gonna talk a little bit about old school toys, and. It, when I was coming up, uh, you know, I know that Don brings it up, but I usually come up with the talking points. And uh, <laughs> so this, I was thinking about toys, but I was a little bit worried. And I was thinking to myself, I can't picture the Don playing with toys. Come like, on. Honestly, as a kid, I'm like, if I come up with this talking, is he going to be able to dig deep and think of something? Or am I going to have to carry this? Because I have a lot. I can I can stay here all day and talk toys. So, Jeez. But I, I think, okay, <laughs> Don, ta- prove me wrong then. Oh, my God. <laughs> prove me wrong. I'm kidding. Okay, you're a lot. Like, you could probably remember the actual names. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm going to say it probably. I'm going to say it probably like it's not supposed to be said. Okay. But, so if you know right. what I'm talking about. What do you I mean, picture? I mean, okay, hang on a second. So, I mean, obviously the staples. Like G.I. Joe's. Okay. I had a lot of wrestling. I loved yeah, wrestling back in the day. WWF. Time. Wrestling I had ring. The ring. Yeah. Uh, and everything like that. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. I was a huge Thundercats. Thund- Thundercats. Thundercats. Yeah. Thundercats. Oh. Yeah. I loved waking up on Saturdays. Yeah. Oh, and watching all the programs. Like all okay. The yeah. He man. I mean, that's TV. Yeah. All oh that. My goodness. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I had all those kinds of toys. All right. You're blowing me away because I, w- right, I, was, I? <laughs> I was legitimately worried. So okay. I was going to talk about a couple. So first of all, the show Alf. Yes. Uh, now, <laughs> for some reason, and I don't even know Alf. why, my parents bought my sister. So this is the Don's wife, <laughs> the Alf doll. And I was a little jealous because... <laughs> You know, the, she had one. It, it talked, and you know, it was you know. Then they bought me one, and, and it didn't talk. Oh my god! So I was like, I can't believe you gave her the better doll, that's, right? That's that's surprising. Right? And she, I don't even think she liked the show. When you go home, ask her if she I, liked the show because <laughs> yeah, I swear yeah. to God, I don't think she was even a fan. But they yeah. bought her the doll. Yeah. 
but that's not really the well, one. I was I telling you upstairs before we were coming on, but mm-hmm. uh, yeah, I used to watch Alpha. That was like a religious uh, uh, program it, it, we were watching. Yeah, it was definitely on. It was on. Yeah, yeah there was a few seasons of that one. But, yeah. but the toy and I, and it's so. As a kid, I wanted a dog. My, yeah. my parents wouldn't get me a dog. <laughs> so the best they could do was they bought me a pound puppy. Oh, my God. Remember I had a black pound puppy? I got I to gotta go online and research this and remember what this looks like. Yeah, they had a whole bunch. So yeah. I, I, actually, sometimes I think, you know, so now I have my, my pug who's, you know, darker in color. So it reminds me a little bit of my old pound puppy. Yeah, yeah, But yeah. I did. I used to really think. I used to pretend that that was a real <laughs> dog because that was as close as I was, yeah. was going to get. Yeah. Um, yeah. But... Um, that's pretty cool. Yeah, you know, do kids play with toys like that anymore? Nah, I don't know. My kids don't play with toys. Right? Like yeah. I don't even the, even the baby. Like she's not. Yeah. yeah. Like she, nah, she, she's into like we have some stuff for her, but she doesn't really go nuts for it. Yeah, like so we bought her, we got her, like a kitchen set. She'll play with mm-hmm, stuff like that, mm-hmm. but no really toys that like when we were growing up there well, was. I mean, okay, Elmo, but. Nothing like you may not know this, uh, folks out there, or my beer brothers and sisters, but <laughs> we converted my kids' playroom yes. into the studio for the podcast. Yeah, now yeah, 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 yeah. Because they weren't using it; they, they don't no. play with toys. No. So we built them this, you know, the playroom. Yeah, right. There's a whole bunch of toys you can look around, you know, and there's for sure. remnants of of some toys yeah. that they hardly ever played with. So yeah. I don't know, kind of. Yeah, a, I mean, my our, our kids are older, but I have, we do have the little one, and she's 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 into the Tupperware, the bowls. Yeah. She's into that stage, right? So not really something else that maybe this generation is missing out but on. But hang on a second, too. Yes, you're absolutely right. I agree yeah. with you on that. But you know, it kills me and pains me to walk my house and see all these toys that she doesn't use. Uh, yes. Which, if my wife ever goes away, yeah. and hopefully she doesn't hear this episode, oh, I'll probably gone? rent a mini bin. Yeah, just gone. And just start chucking things okay. out. Okay. All right. We would save so much space. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> Don's gonna be doing some house cleaning. Christina, if you hear this, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, we're gonna right. lead into our second beer here. We got the Amsterdam Blonde Ale by. Amsterdam Brewery. This is the second time we got an Amsterdam beer on here. Yep. And this is our first... Okay, so I wasn't sure if to call it a king can, a tall boy. Then what do you call this thing, Don? So anything this size, yeah. I call it a torpedo. It's a, I loved it. This torpedo. Looks like a torpedo. Torpedo. Yeah. Right? So compared to the other can, which I still have here, which, uh, you know, my, my eyesight's not the greatest, but uh, whatever the milligrams are on that... This uh, one. Well, you're looking at 570, uh, sorry, 500, yeah, almost 570 milliliters of this one here. Yeah, and a standard and tall boy. standard boys. tall boy, uh, 470. Okay. So 100. 20%, 20%, 20% more, in, percent that, more. in that can. So we call it the Torpedo. Yeah. So, and it's the Amsterdam Blonde Lager. Yeah. And uh, I'm not sure if we set up, but this was a 5.0. Yep. They're out of Toronto, Ontario. Second it's, time on the show. They got that metallic yellow color yeah. bold color on the can yeah. not much literature it doesn't describe no. much about this lager again you're not going to find that with lager i don't right? think it's so not really anything you nope. can really that's uh, what we're know. finding at least like you know yeah um so we are thinking they're going to go for uh a blonde colored yeah pale colored lager yeah we'll see how it looks when we uh, crack it open let's do it let's do it yep. Ooh. Okay. i like so this one here oh yeah as i'm pouring it in it's got that pale uh, golden color to it again. It's very similar to the last one that we had. Are we gonna? Ooh, are we gonna be able to? You're not. You're gonna have no, to. No, eh? have to do a double. The dip. entire. Yeah. I okay. You that's, can't. That's twenty percent. Oh, I I I don't know if it's gonna actually be a talking point or not. Uh, I agree with you because the remnants in that in that in that can right now. It's a big pet peeve for me. You yeah. Like you go to a restaurant. Yeah. And 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 they hand you. It, it's okay. Craft breweries. They're they're making the tall boys right. Yeah. And then they give you a glass that you know you're looking at this glass. That the beer's not gonna pour in it. It's your, it's not gonna fit. No. I don't. I hate that. I, I know. hate that I can't fit my all of my beer into the glass and you know. That's why. Drink so it. Drink a bit and then oh, <laughs> throw, throw the rest in there. I know. I hate doing it too, oh, but it's wow. okay. Okay. So I gotta take it back. It's not very pale at all. It's not very, very trans- translucent. translucent. Yeah. I was just you gonna can, say that. So you know, we always have that technique of, can I see my fingers? Yeah, you know, I can see as my I'm gripping through. it at the other side, I can see them clearly. Clearly, picture yeah. perfect. Yeah. It has some definite carbonation to it. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, it looks great. But uh, yeah. head has head has disappeared, but it poured very really really well. I guess the way I would describe this is if uh, it's a uh, glass of water, and I put a couple of drops of yellow food coloring yeah. into it. Yeah, good it would kind of tinge that uh, for sure. Glass about that, um, I'm ready to. Yeah, let's well, do it. I, we didn't really. No. I'm, I, I, it's like we're not even going to smell this, right? Because <laughs> you know there's not going to be nothing, right? <laughs> we're <a> straight. <laughs> I'm going to try quick, yeah, but uh, we right. know. Right. All okay. right. It smells like a blonde. <laughs> All right. Okay, cheers. <laughs> cheers. Let's. Uh... Wow. Okay. 
Um, That's got a, a different taste than the first one. Yeah, yeah. I kind of like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You See, don't? for me, it's it, it's it's yeah. a little underwhelming. Okay. I guess. So the last one that we had, um, it was a standard lager, uh, but it had enough of that crispness to it. Yeah. That, you know, I would sit there and I, and I would jo- enjoy a few of these. This one, you'd hand me this, and, and, and it's a lot. It's a it's a torpedo, like you said. Yeah. And and now that you're saying that, and I'm kind of letting it kind of sit it sit in the back of my throat and like in, in my palate there. Just, just, a little flat. Yeah. A little flat for me. I don't, me. I, when you said, as soon as you said from the first one where we had that crispiness. Yeah. And, and that, and that kind of, that, it wasn't a punch, but. Yeah. So. It could just, yeah. But they're going for the blonde again. Yeah. So if you're yep. looking uh, for just uh, something that's going to wet your whistle, <laughs> it's, uh, you know, you're a little yeah. thirsty. Uh, I agree you know. with you. I just took another, uh, just another swig. I think this is a one and done for me. Yeah. This is of the yeah. mold of like uh, the Labats or the Molson. Yeah. Or, you know. Uh, I agree. Yeah. So. I mean, like if you're at a restaurant and this is on tap. Are you are you drinking it? And it's the only one that really that you want to drink. But that's that's what it's reminding me of. Yeah, right. We used, you know those places that you go to, and <laughs> you know you, you basically ask you know what's on tap, and they kind of give you a weird look like yeah. what's on tap. What's like, on tap? You know, it's, we got we got beer. We yeah. got a beer on yeah. tap. Yeah. Right, Belgian moon. So you're asking for okay, give me whatever's on tap, and then they're bringing you a pint of, of this. Yeah, right. So, yeah. Yeah. anyways, this is the blonde lager from Amsterdam. Uh, from Amsterdam, yep. you know, big nice tall boy. If you're thirsty and uh, you want to wet your whistle like i said but for sure you're not gonna get anything too crazy in terms of uh, aroma or flavor from this it'll work i'm ready to give this a uh, sure um a ranking though yep three two one six point three okay wow okay okay yeah so this was the amsterdam blonde blonde ale um it was a 6.3 for me 7.0 on the dot from the uh, seven seven on the dot yeah um i was thinking about going a little bit lower but i think for me you know, like I, I, I could, I, I could drink your, it. I could drink it, but the, the like holy, I said, the holy grail that uh, yeah. you know we came across on the last podcast. Yeah. So that's what I'm ranking it yeah. against, right? Yeah. And, hey, listen, uh, we all, we've always said it. The show is in our premise on it. It's supposed to be honest. These are honest reviews. As we keep know? on building our repertoire, right? So yeah. you know, I had to knock it down a couple notches here sure. because compared to that, and I I appreciate know, that. That's what you got to do. Well, that's what I'm trying to do yeah. here. So, yeah. anyways, uh, we're gonna be back in a bit. We are going to be. Uh, what are we talking about next? Uh, our second, uh, uh, well, our second segment or third segment is going to be uh, you're on notice, right? Oh, that's right. Oh, and uh, you're on notice. <laughs> we're. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. I, I was fired up today. I was telling them I got to put these people on notice because they're yeah. ruining my food again. And you know, if, if you've been listening, I, I can't stand when people ruin my food. Yeah. So I, this uh, is going to be interesting. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> stay tuned. We'll be back. All with right. That. We'll be back. Back, yes, sir. Brews and Bros, episode twelve. We're trying some lagers, and um, we are sponsored by the Canadian Craft Brewery Tours uh, promo code. What's that promo code uh, done? Yep, uh, you can use Brews and Bros. So it's B R E W S, the letter N B R O S. Okay, Brews so- and Bros get twenty percent off uh, huh. any one of their tours. Um, that is Canadian Craft Brewery Tours, our sponsor. Perfect. So. Here we go. My, my, I don't know what to expect. <laughs> Get here. ready for this because <laughs> I, I, I'm. I, You're very passionate well, about food, you know. And as I'm, as I am, as sorry, <laughs> as am I. Um, so my, my get, blood, get into it. Yeah, my blood's boiling again. I got to put people on notice yep. because here's the new trend on TikTok, Instagram, all that stuff. I'm so. almost getting sick of this. Okay. Okay, go. So now they're 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 ruining my burgers. Oh. I like a good burger, Don. Yeah. And they're making some beautiful burgers, like smash burgers with, yeah. the, with the onion, yes. nice, beautifully grilled. Um, it, it looks delicious. Some bacon on there. They yep. got the toppings. Nacho then, cheese all of a sudden? Uh, they're pouring all this fake ass cheese <laughs> all over my burger? I, uh, it's, tell me why. I, I don't know. Like like Cheese Whiz? It's pretty much cheese whiz. It's it's okay. They might so, as well put a cheese whiz on there. When you go to a sporting event and you order nachos yep. and they got that unidentifiable yeah. yellow yeah. cheese, or like when you go to the supermarket and you want the dip, the that cheesy, right? cheesy dip there. Right. That's, uh, they have promo, uh, you know, add on to 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 the chips, right? Fake ass cheese. Yeah. That's okay. A, that's so, awful. How so, can you ruin that? It, it, okay. Thank you. You're using the word ruin. Yes. Because again, 
my premise is always this. Yep. When I'm trying to do, so, and I like to be creative in the kitchen. Don't get me wrong. For sure. Right. Bo- both wife. of us. Yeah. Both of us. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, we, we try our best to yep. bring it to another level when we can. Right. Yep. Uh, whatever the ingredients we have, we'll try to take it to the next level. But For that, sure. that's exactly my premise is I want to try to enhance the flavor. I want to try to enhance the dish. So, and I saw that picture you were you said I you sent that one beautiful to you. burger. So I want you to picture this just in case you know whoever's we listening. We should pop that up there too. Yeah. So you've just grilled to perfection the most unbelievable juicy looking burger that you can <laughs> think of. You got some nice onions, maybe some bacon, sure. and a little bit of sauce yeah. on there, and, and, and a nice bun. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, just you get like a bowl of this nacho cheese, and it, and you plop it. You you just <laughs> right over. So now you're covering it. <laughs> so a. Don't tell me that's enhancing the flavor of the already amazing burger you if already anything, made. And if, if anything, okay. you're ruining it. You're, you're, like I said before, you're ruining and it. Now you're, you're just taking away from the whole thing. Number two. Yeah. Practically. Yeah. How the hell am yeah. I eating this thing? Yeah. It's going to be a It's mess. a burger. Yeah. Like, oh, really? That am I going to pick it oh, up? Oh, the bun's going to be so That's solid. what I'm saying. Jeez, I got to eat it with it a up. fork and knife? Like, what am were I they, doing here? Were they maybe just doing that for, like, uh, picture yes. purposes? Yes. Well, yeah, again, I, yeah. yes, probably. Yeah. You know, it, it's like, you know, but yeah, but, but even, like, the, they have these memes, and, yep. they're, and, then, and they're kind of poking fun at it, but then people are loving it. Like, so yeah. they're going in the drive-thru, and they're handing you a burger, and they're unwrapping, and they're like, oh, but before I give it to you, <laughs> and then they have, they, they pour all this yellow, disgusting, nacho, fake cheese oh my all God. over this thing. Where are you finding this stuff? <laughs> Don, they got to stop. Oh please. my God. That's why I don't go on TikTok. Please. That's why I don't do TikTok. Dear brothers and sisters, yes. please. If you have a okay. restaurant in the brewery, yes. please do not just, do just, this. Just don't let them. No. Okay, don't don't feed into it, no. okay? It's awful. Don, we ordered from somewhere today, and it, 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 <laughs> my wife <laughs> o- brought home some takeout, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay? Okay. And um, you're, you're not I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know where it's from. So you're, they're lucky because I would put them on notice. All right, cool. Grilled cheese. Yeah. You know, I don't want to know what was in it. What? Cheetos. Oh my God. Flaming hot Why? Cheetos. And guess what? My kids didn't even eat it. Really? They didn't like it. That's surprising. Well, how did, yeah. I know. Because usually they'll eat anything, right? That's but what I'm I mean, saying. why do you put Cheetos in it? It was. That's it was a grilled cheese. Uh, okay. Did you go to that grilled cheese place. Maybe yeah. that grilled cheese place. Uh, There's we, that, that grilled cheese place on... We uh, can ask her. You know yeah. what? I, you know what? I'm not even going to bother because we're never going to order from there again. No. <laughs> because when I saw that, I looked at my wife and I'm like, well, see? In, in see nut- what's happening? Okay, hang on. In a nutshell, no fake cheese. No fake cheese. No anyway, nachos. Nothing. I hate okay, it. Okay. That's it. Or else you're going on notice. Yeah. And we're telling you right now. Yeah. And now, <laughs> you know what? And we're going to start naming the establishment. <laughs> you're going to get pulled on notice. That's we're going to label it all that's over it. Instagram and you're done. Right. Okay, here what we, we go. Third beer. Yep. San Andre Bohemian Style Lager. Lager. By Cool Beer Brewing Company. Is it Cup. Saint Andre or Saint Andre? I like the way you said it the second time. Andre, because I, I see the accent. There is an there. accent. Yeah. Uh, an accent. Is that circumflex? <laughs> accent aigu. <laughs> accent aigu or accent circumflex? <laughs> yeah, That's all I know from French. <laughs> okay. 4.6. 4.6. Uh, why am wow. I second? Wow. Bohemian Lager is established in 1842. Okay, so it's That's been around. That's how old this type of been lager around is, for eh? a long time. So yep. Bohemian style. I'm 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 expecting am... completely old school style. Okay. No. Sure. I Bavarian. Bohemian, yeah. I, I I don't know. I'm I'm probably mixing up like bo- Bavarian, Bavarian, and <laughs> Bohemian, Bavarian and Bohemian, Bohemian yeah, Rhapsody. Yeah. I see a little silhouette <laughs> of a man. <laughs> He's got a mood. <laughs> right, I do like have a hand over here. All right, but before you crack it open, let's take okay. a look at the can. Oh, of it. yeah, they're going just a maroon colored top, black at the bottom. They got yep. a picture of I guess what the beer's supposed to look yep. like. There's a nice halo. There's a halo, like almost like it's oh. angelic. You see that? Did you pick up on that? Thank you. Okay. Okay. No. No. I, I, I absolutely. So they do have a little halo, which I goes uh, goes along with Saint Andre yeah. or Saint Andre. Yeah. And they're using specialty malts, premium hops. Are they shouting out Saint Andre on here at all? Uh, I don't see anything. Are they like just that. kind of just talking about how it's Bohemian style? Yeah, probably. Yeah, and these guys are uh, they're at a TO, the T dot. Maybe Saint Andre, the real guy, was smashing cool. his back back in eighteen hundreds or whenever he was yep. alive. Cool beer. Brewing company. Okay. Out of TO. Let's, let's crack this. Let's crack this open. I'm interested to see what this color looks like. Okay. So as I pour this in. Oh, different color to this. Okay. See? We had the first one that was a classic pale. The second Ooh. one uh, I, brew. I can yeah. only describe as. It looks like an amber, eh? You know, it was water with a couple of drops of yellow food coloring. This one 
<laughs> oh, I love this it color, bro. Amazing color, guys. I'm going to tell you right now, St. Andre has a reddish, oh, it looks like an amber. Yeah. And uh, it's not a cloudy head. It's got a little bit of Almost like caramel. Of caramel malt yep. to that head. So that excites me, too. And they're um, using specialty malts, brew. That's what they said right there. You might get your first sniffing. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, of yeah. This there. one's maybe sniffable. So let's. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna sniff it and see if uh, I get anything. While the Don's taking a picture of it. Yep. No, no, no. No. Well, I'm not feeling it. Okay. I smell a little bit more of the maltiness. Uh, I don't get that lager punch in your face smell. Right, I concur with that. Yes, okay. there's no no really loggery type of smell on there. But I hope there you is. took a good picture of this though, because it has a. This I did. is a good looking beer. Yeah, I love this color, brew. I really I, love. I'm this a color. little worried again yeah. because if I order this at a restaurant and they bring it to me, and uh, you're a logger lover, yes, you're gonna look at this and be a little worried. It would probably if right? I would, if I had ordered it and it was my first time at a restaurant and they brought it to me, I'd probably be exactly. I'd be a little bit worried. Like, a little worried. Uh, am I getting this wrong? Yeah. What this, well, did I order an amber? Did I order a yeah. red? What's yeah, going yeah, on yeah, here? Yeah, I ordered yeah, a yeah, lager. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you know, but again, we're not gonna judge a book by its cover. I'm gonna coin the famous Richard Sackle here, and this is intriguing. <laughs> intriguing. Okay. Uh, not much carbonation to it. No. Beautiful color. I'm, 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 I'm excited a little bit here. Hopefully, uh, <laughs> the dog okay. is just... I'm trying to find something for you. Yeah. No, it, it just, it... Yeah. We've been, I tried hard with the other two loggers yeah. and most loggers, and this is a little against the grain, yeah. so I'm, uh, oh, up against that light. Yeah. Put it up against the light a little bit closer, Don, so he's just, yeah. what a beautiful color to Yeah, it's nice, eh? I, I almost like amber coppery type of color. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm, okay. Right, well, I hope this see. blows your, your head off so. right now. Okay, San Andre, let's Cheers. do it. Oh, wow. After all that, I can say it's definitely a lager. <laughs> <laughs> it sure is. It's, I like this bohemian, though. Well, yeah. So this is a classic, classic lager. Yeah. It's got that crispness to it. I yep. would say it's crushable. You can have a few of these poolside for sure. Yeah. So all of those people that love lagers, if you uh, order one of these and they bring <coughs> it to you at the, you know, you're at a restaurant and they bring it to you, don't be afraid of the very amber red color no, to it. No. It's definitely in the bohemian lager style yep. to this. It's not. I, I, I like it. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's just uh, it, it's what you would expect. It's a good quality lager. Let's put it that way. They've used what they say specialty uh, specialty moms and premium hops. Okay, all right. So I'm going to take one more swig of this but, specialty uh, malts. And that, premium that, that hops. I, gonna, I don't know what I said. I said mops. I think I don't know. <laughs> specialty mops. I, and I was going to go with it. I'm like, uh, you know, I didn't know exactly That's what, what I heard. We do here. We correct ourselves <laughs> so many times. Special, yeah. I thought, specialty yeah. malts. Mal, mal, malts and hops together. Mops. And premium. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, that's, hey. Great, mops. Hey, Mop up the floor. Mop up the floor. <laughs> I think I'm ready. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. Three. See, this is tough now. You got to take another sip? No, go ahead. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> I'll help you out a little bit here. Doc, no, right? no, it's okay. I don't know. You know, I'm feeling. I'm getting like my my sec, the, my second score on this on the previous one should have been lower. No, okay. and now now the one I'm going to give this score right now maybe is, not, the... is not going to be reflective of. Okay, you know, I'm I'm just all right. But that's what happens. But right? you got it. That's you what happens. It? I got it. Okay, let's yep. do this one. Three, yep. two, one, seven point seven point one. Okay. Okay. So. This was, again, the St. Andre Bohemian Saint Andre. style lager by the Cool Brew Brewing Company. I gave cool it beer. a 7.5, and the Don gave it a 7.1. Yeah, I had to give it a 0.1 more than the Amsterdam. Crisp. Yeah. Refreshing. Yeah. Um, lager lovers, lovers, you can definitely order this. and For sure. With it. Yeah, you don't hesitate to, to, to drink it if you're thrown off by the color of this, but it's definitely because of the bohemian, I'm assuming. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, uh, yes. we're going to take a little break, and uh, we'll be back in a bit. Yes, sir. Good. 
That was good. Yeah, yeah, this is Bruise and Bros. This was episode number 12. We tried some loggers. The 12 pack. We're sponsored by um, the Canadian Craft Brewery uh, Tours. Pop in the promo code uh, Bruise N, the letter N Bros, and you're going to get yourself 20% off. Yeah, use it on any of their packages, guys, and uh, visit them at CanadianCraftBreweryTours.com. We were talking some old school toys earlier. I want to know what was your, not even what was it. Let's, I want to, if you could go back in time yeah. and save that toy yeah, that yeah, your yeah. mom threw out yep. or you sold at a garage sale, I had a whole bunch and I wish I, I had them back. I, I would display them. I would have like an old school oh, toy I re- room, I oh, guess. Man, I re- me too. Like I always, I tell my mom too, like, why couldn't you just put a few aside? Yeah, and that would have been it awesome. Was so awesome. I had every Transformer you could possibly imagine. Oh, Transformers. A million, I a million of them. Yeah. Yeah, honestly. Yep. And, uh, yeah, in, what was the other thing we were talking about earlier? Oh, the food ruining, cheese oh, fake. I don't want to talk about man. it anymore. I know. That's why. I, I tried to block these. it out of my mind. I was like, what did we talk about? No, oh, yeah, I tried to block it out of my mind. Stop ruining my burgers. Yeah. <laughs> All right? Give me a nice grilled burger. Put yeah. some bacon on there. I just, a nice you, bun. I just showed you one on Instagram. It looked and that delicious. Was done to I was worried. Kids. You were showing me that if they dump cheese on no. that, that nacho no. cheese, I swear. It was a nice smash burger, cheese, onions, bacon, just wrapped. Oh, it was so good. The young people. People out there, I, I just I, I'm asking you. Fruits. Just think about it for a second. If you're doing something to food, are you making it better, no. or are you just making a meme out of it? Are no. you just making an, a, a, a monstrosity of it yeah. for social media? It's a mockery. Because if you are, you just cut it out, okay? Because yeah. it, it is spilling into my restaurants now that I'm ordering <laughs> from, yeah, and you're you're pissing me off. Okay? That's awful. So yeah, get yeah. rid of the fake cheese. Yep. Yeah, I agree. All right, I concur. Well, what should we try next? Hit us up on uh, on our social media, Instagram, if you have a suggestion. I know we already we uh, we have a few followers that uh, suggest some stuff, and we we got to tap into that. Keep throwing it out there. We'd like to know what your opinions yep. are. Yep. And uh, we want to know about your old school toys, though. Tell yeah. us about that too. That's that'd be interesting. Yeah, we want to hear which sure. yeah which yeah. yours was. So. Yeah. I All think right. uh, that's it for episode number 12 of 12 yeah, Pack. That's in the books. Go get yourself a 12 Pack for this weekend. I think so, yeah. Right? Do it. Yeah, Enjoy yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enjoy yourself. Maybe a mixer. Yeah. Mixer 12 Pack? Yeah. yeah that'd sounds be great. great for the weekend, right? Yes. All right. Okay. <laughs> Two brothers. <laughs> Three beers. We're out. We're out.